That maritime drama unfolds against the backdrop of Western negotiations with Iran over its nuclear program. Tonight, Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge on who is calling the shots for the Islamic Republic. Calling Javad Zarif, Iran's foreign minister and chief nuclear negotiator, a coward, Republican Senator Tom Cotton challenged him on Twitter to debate Iran's record of tyranny, treachery, and terror. This morning, Zarif tweeted back, congratulating Cotton on his newborn son after chastising him. Serious diplomacy, not macho personal smear, is what we need. The tussle on Twitter reflects the trust deficit between Iran's nuclear team and U.S. lawmakers who believe the Obama White House can't get a good deal on its own. The very fact that Iran is telling their people one thing about the deal and our administration is telling us something else uh, bodes uh, for passage of this piece of legislation. The mistrust goes right to Zarif, who was investigated by the FBI over his ties to a foundation that was allegedly set up to launder money and skirt U.S. sanctions. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani is often pegged as a moderate. On the surface, both men seem in sync with the West, though critics caution otherwise. Both Rouhani and Zarif uh, act uh, as a wolf in sheep's clothing in order to sell the policies of the Supreme Leader Khamenei, which is to build a bomb. Uh, to pursue the terrorism of the Iran regime uh, while lifting the sanctions. Rouhani is also accused of blessing the deal that gave bin Laden's closest aid safe haven in Iran after 9-11. Among them, Mousin al-Fadli. And in 2012, the State Department publicly declared him the head of al-Qaeda in Iran. It was Hassan Rouhani, who was a secretary of the National Security Council in Iran at the time, who basically came out and said, no, 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 we don't have any relationship with al-Qaeda. This is all lies. And in fact, it was Rouhani who was lying. While not an outright Holocaust denier, critics say Rouhani seems conveniently muddy on the issue, using the word genocide instead. And both Rouhani and Zarif are in lockstep with the driving force behind the nuclear program. I'm a super leader Khamenei has repeatedly called the United States uh, the great Satan. This comes as the Reuters news agency reports the U.K. has discovered Iran is buying nuclear fuel through two blacklisted companies. The procurement network raises new red flags about whether Tehran can be trusted to abide by a nuclear deal due by June 30th. Chris. More on this with the panel.